Flag, led by Asenet Valdez. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please remain standing for the pledge for the pledge of the Texas flag by Azanet Valdez. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Singing the national anthem led by Sabrina Storm, followed by the invocation given by Stephen Cloak. Good evening, parents, students, and faculty. Before I get to the invocation, I'd like to direct your attention to the center of the arena, to our seniors. You'll notice that each of us is wearing an orange and white ribbon. These ribbons are a symbol to remind us of those that we have lost this year and to let those students that are fighting their own battles know that they are not alone. We would also like for everyone to please stand. For a moment of silence in honor of the lives lost in Uvalde, Texas on May 24th. Thank you. You may now be seated. It is a privilege to be able to give today's invocation. And whilst I had prepared for a different sort of speech this evening involving themes of servitude, it was a personal life mentor of mine that reminded me that being a servant is something worthy of being talked about, no matter the type of speech venue or people uh, around you. Please join me in prayer at this time. Lord, we invite you into this arena this evening, asking that you would guide our seniors as they prepare to take the next step in their journey. I ask that you would give us a servant's heart, a heart set on doing your will and advancing the goodness of your love. We know that what comes after this will be challenging. After all, the world is a, a tumultuous place. We ask that you would give us wisdom and a strong resolve to be able to face those challenges and do your work. Lord, we thank you and we love you. Amen. Thank you, Stephen. On behalf of South Texas ISD Medical Professions, Administration, and staff, we welcome you to the commencement exercises for South Texas ISD Medical Professions, Senior Class of 2022. 
Today, it is her pleasure to share with you your son's or daughter's latest achievement, graduation from high school. We're very proud of each of our graduating seniors, for you have accomplished so much this year. We're gathered here tonight to honor all your achievements. At this time, we would like to honor those that have guided you through this past four years. Will the medical profession's faculty please rise to be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. At this time, I would like to present Dr. Marco Antonio Lara Jr., Superintendent of South Texas Independent School District. Good evening and once again, welcome to everyone. To the graduating class of 2022, today is your day. Make no mistake, it's all about you. Your hard work, your dedication to your education is obvious because you're sitting here tonight to receive your diploma. And let me remind you, not just any diploma, a South Texas ISD medical professions diploma. A diploma that you can be proud of, a diploma that anybody who knows you and knows our schools knows that you earned it. We come together tonight to celebrate you. I'm sure that your parents, your family members, and your guests are so very proud of you and probably wondering, where did the time go? Just yesterday, I was dropping my child off at pre-K, and tonight we're all sitting together as a family celebrating your high school career. So now that you've completed your first major milestone in life, what's next? Many of you will continue your education in a college or university. Some of you will join the armed forces, and some of you might just join the workforce right out of high school. Whatever you do, do your best, be the best. I have no doubt that as you leave us, that you leave us understanding the value in serving your community, the value of being a positive influence to everyone that you meet, and the type of person that's going to not only make a difference, but be the difference. As young adults living through a global pandemic, you understand, like many of us, what we once considered normal a couple of years ago doesn't exist anymore. So I challenge you to help all of us define what that new normal is going to be. And let's make it better. Let's change the world together to be a much softer, a kinder, safer world where we learn to value and appreciate one another for our differences. You are the 2022 graduating class of medical professions, so now go out in the world and be the best version of yourself you know you can be. And remember, most importantly, stay connected with South Texas ISD because we want to be able to follow you and to learn about all the remarkable things that you're gonna be doing in your lives as you venture out ahead. I'm going to leave you with a quote from Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, who says, your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And, not, and the only way you're going to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe to be good work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. Congratulations to each and every one of you. We are so proud of you. I'd like to recognize a group of individuals who helped me in supporting everything that your schools do in providing those resources and the support that you need to have the things that you want to be successful. My Deputy Superintendent, Efrain Garza. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent for Finance and Operations, Ms. Marla Kanab. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources, Mrs. Lisa Frausto. 
our Chief Academic Officer, Mrs. Nereida Trevino, and our Administrator for Public Relations and Marketing, Mrs. Amanda Odom. Now, I also have the privilege of introducing to you a group of leaders who come together of their own free will, who give of their time, and are of service to each and every one of you, and all of us, and all of our schools. And that is our Board of Directors. Let me introduce to you the President of the Board of Directors, Mr. Douglas Buchanan from Raymondville. The Vice President, Mr. Henry Levere, Brownsville. Dr. Sylvia Sanchez Garza, Edinburgh. <laughs> Members of the board, Aviel J. Cantu, Raymondville. <laughs> Eduardo Larry Cantu, Los Fresnos. <laughs> Sasha Crane, McAllen. Margarita Garcia, San Juan. And Israel G. Quintanilla, Raymondville. I'd now like to invite our President of the Board of Directors, Mr. Douglas Buchanan, to give a welcome on behalf of the Board. Thank you, Dr. Lada. Good evening, parents, guardians, family members, and friends to the 2022 graduation ceremony for medical professions. I stand before you representing South Texas ISD Board of Directors. It gives me great pleasure to congratulate the graduates and all the individuals that have supported them through their current journey. I say current journey because this is a memorable milestone in a continuous journey. What happens after tonight's celebration remains to be seen, but you have successfully arrived at the gate of opportunity. For 12 plus years, that's right, 12 plus years, you have been navigating your way through school and now you have arrived at a time to celebrate and reminisce all of those years. Here's an analogy you may appreciate. I grew up on my grandparents' dairy farm in upstate New York. I was very young, but still there were chores to do at my age. One of my most rewarding chores was to bring to my grandmother two quarts of milk from the milking parlor every afternoon. She would then place them to be chilled in an ice box. That's a refrigerator, graduates. The next morning, she would spoon off the cream separated from the milk. This is where the analogy begins. From that cream, my grandmother made the following products. Buttermilk whipping cream, sour cream, butter, and my favorite, and probably yours too, ice cream. Graduates, you are that cream. You are at a stage in your life that will afford you the opportunity to, to be any product you want to be. A dairy farm produces numerous delicious products that we enjoy every day. What delicious profession will you achieve? You now have the education, the support of loved ones, and the fact that you are the cream. Therefore, you can become anything you want. Doctor, armed forces, lawyer, scientist, engineer, teacher, astronaut, biochemist, or any other profession you so choose. The possibilities are endless. So again, 
on behalf of the Board of Education and everyone here, congratulations, graduates. You are the cream. Thank you, Dr. Lara and Mr. Buchanan. It gives, me, it gives me great pleasure to recognize the following groups of outstanding students who have earned Scholastic's honors. Students graduating with dual credit college hours, please stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Graduating with honor, will all the students graduating Cum laude, please stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Graduating with great honor, will the students graduating magna cum laude, please stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Graduating with the highest honor, will the students graduating summa cum laude, Please stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Students who graduate distinguished have completed strict academic requirements, including four by four state testing, college readiness, and at least one endorsement. Our curriculum provides graduates the opportunity to earn four endorsements. Students have also achieved a variety of performance acknowledgements, including dual credit, qualifying AP scores, and outstanding pre-SAT, SAT scores, and bilingualism. Will the distinguished achievement graduates please stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Throughout the year, our senior students have an opportunity connect, to connect their knowledge and theory of the human body, disease processes, and healthcare systems with real world practice. The experiences that they gain help them prepare for and succeed in certifications, exams in dental assisting, emergency medical services, phlebotomy, medical laboratory assisting, medical assisting, pharmacy technician, nitric oxide, monitoring, and ophthalmology. Will all students who have achieved certifications please stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Being part of the community, being of service to the community, and influence positive change in our community and the world is part of the mission of medical professions. Will all the students who have completed at least 75 hours of volunteer service please rise at this time. Thank you, you may be seated. Will all students who will be serving in the United States, Af in the United States Armed Forces after graduation please rise. Thank you, you may be seated. Parents, your sons and daughters' accomplishments tonight is a reflection of your continued support and encouragement. Thank you for your partnership. Padres, hoy celebramos los logros de su hija o, hija o hijo que son un reflejo de su constante apoyo. Will the parents of the graduating class of 2022 please stand? Favor de ponerse de pie, padres, para ser reconocidos. Thank you, you may be seated. Favor de tomar asiento. Our salutatorian for the class of 2022 is Alma Fernan Fernanda Rodriguez. <laughs> Alma is the daughter of Mr. Ricardo and Dr. Alma Rodriguez from Bronzeville. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Alma has demonstrated remarkable leadership skills as a member of a variety of school organizations at South Texas ISD medical professions, including Health Occupation Students of America, 
National Honor Society, National Technical Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, National Art Honor Society, Kickoff Mentor, Student Council, Environmental Club, Volleyball, Basketball, and Golf Teams, Social Studies, and Writing UIL. This year, Alma was recognized as an AP Scholar with distinction. Alma is scheduled to take the Pharmacy Technician certific Certification Exam, which will allow her to be able to work anywhere in the United States as a Pharmacy Technician. Alma will also be is active in her community. She served at, at her church, St. Luke Catholic Church, and volunteered with the National Honor Society at several food drives, beach, and city cleanups. Alma was also selected to receive the new UTRGV Luminary Scholarship and was awarded a full scholarship to attend the University of Texas at Rio Grande Valley, where she will major in biomedical science. The Luminary Scholarship will cover her undergraduate degree in full, along with two years of campus housing with a graduate degree. Alma was also accepted into the Vaqueros MD Early Assurance Program, where she will continue to pursue medical school and ultimately become a doctor. Our solidatorium, Alma Fernanda Rodriguez, will now deliver her address. Thank you for the introduction. Good evening, parents, friends, teachers, administrators, and of course, my fellow graduates, the class of 2022. It is an absolute honor to be given the opportunity to speak to you today. We have been eagerly waiting for this day to arrive in which we step into our future. The days of messaging our friends in the group chat in the middle of the night to see if it's an A or B day tomorrow are officially over. However, now that the day has arrived, I'm sorry it has, because it means closing a chapter, overflowing with wonderful memories, full of friends' laughter, teachers who have been our mentors, and countless other people who've shaped my life and my fellow students' lives indelibly and forever. The four years we have spent together have truly been one of a kind and definitely not always easy. Each and every of our own unique experiences have undoubtedly prepared us for the bright future that awaits. Things may not always go as planned, but I believe we can all agree this class is resilient. We overcame many obstacles, including an entire year in which our reality was logging into Zoom remotely to attend class. The fact that we have made it here, decorated with our multitude of awards and accomplishments, is a testament to our perseverance and commitments to excellence. However, we definitely could not have done this alone. At this time, I would like to take the opportunity to express my immense gratitude and appreciation. I would like to, to thank the adm administration, faculty, and staff for their hard work each and every day, and the many teachers who have gone above and beyond in and outside of the classroom. Throughout all four years, dedicated and compassionate teachers, including Ms. Arredondo, Dr. Gracia, Ms. Manrique, Mr. Vasquez, and the countless other wonderful teachers have shown support and encouragement which has never and will never go unnoticed. I feel it is safe to say that I speak on behalf of the whole graduating class of 2022 in thanking you all for the effort that you have invested in making today a reality. I would also like to thank my family for their unconditional and ever comforting love and support. Thank you for being my rock and inspiration. Lastly, thank you to my friends and fellow graduates for the unforgettable memories we have shared. Graduates, you are all destined for greatness. You've all grown into powerful intellectual individuals who will each leave an impactful legacy. Oftentimes, it's the journey that teaches you a lot about your destination. So as we part ways, equipped with priceless knowledge, remember to leave those with whom you cross paths with, with a little more happiness and hope. I wish everyone the absolute best and look forward to hearing all about the exciting and wonderful things that the medical professions class of 2022 will achieve. Thank you very much. And again, congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you, Alma. Alma, on behalf of the faculty and staff of South Texas ISD medical professions, it is my 
pleasure to present to you with this plaque as a lasting reminder of you being the salutatorian of the class of 2022. Congratulations, Alma. Our valedictorian for the class of 2022 is Cassandra Abigail Rodriguez. Cassandra is the daughter of Mr. Jorge Caballero and, Ms. and Mrs. Karina Rodriguez. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Cassandra has demonstrated outstanding leadership at South Texas ISD medical professions through a variety of school organizations, including Health Occupation Students of America, National Honor Society, National Technical Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, National Art Honor Society, Kickoff Mentor and Class Officer, Student Council, Social Studies UIL, and Volleyball and Soccer teams. She has been recognized as an AP Scholar with distinctions, a Quest Bridge finalist, a Quest Bridge College Prep Scholar, Gates Scholarship finalist, a Hispanic Scholarship Fund uh, Scholar, a Girls Who Code alumni, and a National Hispan Hispanic Scholar. Cassandra, Cassandra was also part of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society as a fundraising member to aid local cancer patients and contribute towards cancer research in the Rio Grande Valley. In addition, Cassandra participated in a Shark Tank Mexico and meet the Drapers in San Francisco. Cassandra will be attending Harvard University in the fall to pursue a degree in molecular and cellular biology with a minor in economics. Our valedictorian will now deliver her address Sandra. Good evening, everyone. It is such an honor to be standing here today as the Medical Professions Class of 2022 Valedictorian. What a journey, huh? Nine-year-old me would be very proud that I am in front of this podium saying my last goodbyes. It took years of commitment and dedication to get here. Believe it or not, this was the moment I was fighting for. I sacrificed many things to be here, but here I am and I couldn't be happier. We have been through so much these four years. Although not as bad as the two previous generations, a high school experience we could say was cut in half. In a blink of an eye, we are now seniors. We left sophomore year and now we're back graduating. That's crazy. I remember perfectly sitting in computer science, freshman year, raising my hand countless times to ask why my code wasn't running or sophomore year in art class, looking around and seeing beautiful paintings and looking back at my paper, realizing my drawing was absolutely horrendous. Or junior year, being the only one on Zoom with the camera on every single day. Right, Mr. Salazar? We've had our ups and downs, but we are left with many moments to remember. For instance, the girls' volleyball season this year, we only won two games, by the way. My lunch detention experiences for being late, or asking to go to the restroom and instead taking a whole tour of the school. There would be no more security guards yelling to get to class, no more daily visits to the library to do homework, of course, and no more asking what is for lunch when we clearly know the answer, our beloved chicken tenders. Despite all this, I want you guys to know that I am so proud of all of us. We made it. I've come to admire many of you, your talents, your personalities, your interests. Shout out to my biggest competition in both economics and pharmacy class, Max Barraza. <laughs> Even though I'm standing here being the top of the class, I can admit to you that I am not a genius. There was one thing that made the difference, discipline. At the end of the day, that's all it takes, discipline having that inner drive and motivation to achieve goals for yourself, not for anyone else. If you want it bad enough, you will achieve it. There is no secret formula for success. Discipline will always be the answer. These four years, I've also accomplished things that would not have been possible without the support of my family, my mentors, my teachers, my friends, and the medical profession staff. There are some special people I would like to thank today. To my family for being my pillar and supporters no matter the decisions I make. 
to my mom for being my biggest inspiration and showing me that with hard work, anything is possible. To my dad for showing me to step out of my comfort zone and be bold, to take risks. My dog for showing me that it only takes one object, a pink bone or someone to be your source of happiness. To my UIO social studies coach for being my mentor since day one. He was my world history teacher, soccer coach, and my college advisor. It got to a point I saw him more than my mom. To my pharmacy teacher for always adopting us in her classroom and being a best friend to us. My junior year clinicals teacher for always lightening my mood and making me smile. To all the teachers, counselors, administrators, librarians, and janitors that helped me throughout this journey, I am immensely grateful for all the advice and time you dedicated not only to me, but to all of us. We wouldn't be here without any of you today. Thank you. Finally, to God. He has given me the courage and has guided me to make the right choices. Most importantly, I've learned that some things are out of my control. He has taught me to have faith. Over these four years, I've definitely met some of the best people that I hope to keep for the rest of my life. It certainly only takes one person to change you. If there is one thing I want you guys to remember from this speech is that we're in high school. We're 17 and 18 year olds. We are not expected to know what to do for the rest of our lives. We are not. From over a thousand essays that I've written throughout these four years, I can tell you that our high school experience is our rough draft. And yes, some need a little more revision than others, but it doesn't matter because we all follow our own path. We have our flaws, our imperfections, our weaknesses. We are bound to make mistakes over and over again, but there is no rush, one step at a time. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. In this room, we have the future surgeons, nurses, dentists, pharmacies, pharmacists, lawyers, engineers, pilots, singers, dancers. No matter what you do or where you end up, trust. Just trust the process. Don't ever be afraid of change. And along the way, don't forget to be kind and humble, but always know your worth. Let's not cry because it's over. Let's smile because it happened. Thank you. Thank you, Cassandra. Cassandra, on behalf of the faculty and staff of South Texas ISD Medical Professions, it is my pleasure to present to you this plaque as a lasting reminder of you being the valedictorian of the class of 2022. Congratulations. Now the moment we have all been waiting for. Will the, will the graduating class of 2022 please rise? Dr. Lara, I present to you the students, members of the senior class of 2022. As principal of South Texas ISD Medical Professions, I certify that they have met all the graduation requirements of the Texas Education Agency and the South Texas ISD Medical Professions. I recommend that they receive their diplomas. Members of the Board of Education, parents, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to certify that the students about to be called have completed their course of study as required by the regulations of the State Board of Education and that of the South Texas Independent School District. I hereby authorize that a diploma in testimony of their having met these requirements be issued to each and every candidate for graduation tonight. Ms. Flores will call the roll call of the seniors and the board of directors will now present you with your diplomas. Congratulations. Thank you, you may be seated. At this time, Mr. Jose Lucio and Ms. Victoria Marin, assistant principals, will call the names of the graduates and the South Texas ISD board members will assist in presenting the diplomas. Students, upon hearing your name, please step forward to receive your diploma.
Cassandra Abigail Rodriguez from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending Harvard University. Alma Fernanda Rodriguez from Rancho Viejo, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Luis Daniel Aguillon from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Jorge Ambriz Jr. from Brownsville, attending Texas Southmost College. Shelby Samantha Andrade from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Maria Fernanda Astorga Salazar from Brownsville, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Austin Atkinson from Almito, cum laude, attending, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Houston Atkinson from Olmito, summa cum laude, attending the Tex University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Dylan Amir Avina from Brownsville, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Nailea Melissa Baez from Olmito, summa cum laude, attending the University of Boston. Alondra Lizeth Baeza from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Jose Lazaro Baeza III from Brownsville, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Andrew Jason Banda from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Eliasar Barbosa Jr. from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Maximo Aron Barraza from Brownsville, attending University of the Incarnate Word. Hector Ernesto Bueno de Leon from San Benito, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Crystal Denise Cantu from Laguna Vista, magna cum laude, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Daniela Montserrat Cantu from Brownsville, cum laude, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Valerie Nicole Cantu from Brownsville, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Tiberio Cardenas IV from Brownsville, te attending Texas State University. Merari Yuritsi Cardenas Ortiz from Brownsville, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Daniela Alejandra Castillo from Brownsville, magna cum laude, University of the Incarnate Word. Ana Patricia Castro from Brownsville, cum laude, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Gladys Anel Castro from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending Texas Women's University. Paola Castro from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending Texas Tech University. Paola Lorena Castro from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Michelle Castro Alvarado from Donna, attending South Texas College.
Leah Cavazos Garcia, from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Andrea Miranda Cepeda, from Brownsville, attending Texas A&M University in San Antonio. Arturo Chaires, from Mercedes, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Cesar Chavez, from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Alyssa Ariana Cisneros, from Brownsville, a Texas attending Texas A&M University in Kingsville. Clovani Love Cortez, from San Benito, cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Alejandra Cruz from Rancho Viejo, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas at Austin. Jacob Simon Randolfo Cruz from Los Fresnos, magna cum laude, attending Texas Southmost College. Brenda Magali Davila from Brownsville, attending Texas Southmost College. Giovanni Esteban de la Fuente from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Giovanni Guadalupe de la Fuente from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Yared Isai de la Garza from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Dario Jesus El Angel from Brownsville, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Fernando del Castillo Olivares from Brownsville, cum laude, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Andrea Isabel Delgado from Los Fresnos, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Jordan William Dorsett from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending Uni University of Texas at Dallas. Jamie Eileen Dubois from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Eveline Duenas from Brownsville, attending Texas Southmost College. Angel Duenas from Brownsville, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Cristabel Madeline Duncan from Harlingen, summa cum laude attending St. Mary's University. Cynthia Soledad Elizondo from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Maximo Rafael Escamilla Cardenas from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending Baylor University. Oscar Eduardo Escobedo from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending Baylor University. Sara Anayansi Escobedo from Rancho Viejo, cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Juan de Dios Espinosa Jr. from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas in San Antonio. Abriana Nairel Flores from Harlingen, magna cum laude, attending Texas State Technical College. Brian Alejandro Frias from Brownsville, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. 
Daniel Galindo from Brownsville, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Arlette Michelle Galvan from San Benito, cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Nia Galvan from Rio Hondo, summa cum laude, attending the University of Texas at Austin. Audrey Samantha Garza from San Benito, Garcia from San Benito, magna cum laude, University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Kayla Garcia from Brownsville, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Nathan Javier Garcia from Brownsville, cum laude, attending Texas Southmost College. Simon Emanuel Garcia from San Benito, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Victoria Lynn Garcia from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Prisma Eileen Garcia Ceron from Brownsville, cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Bobby Garza Jr. from Harlingen, summa cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Ethan Marcus Garza from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Jesus Rodrigo Garza from Brownsville, cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Renee Leanne Garza from San Benito, attending Texas Southmost College. Bianca Ileana Garza from Brownsville, cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Sitlali Escaret Go Gomez from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Hervé Gonzalez from Brownsville, cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Francine Gonzalez from Olmito, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Joshua Ricardo Gonzalez from Brownsville, going to Texas Southmost College. Maria Fernanda Gonzalez from Brownsville, attending Texas Tech University. Ricardo Gonzalez Jr. from San Benito, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Tristan Jack Gonzalez from Brownsville, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Jael Idiel Gonzalez Soto from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Daniela Cor Carolina Guerra from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas at San Antonio. Javier Alejandro Gutierrez from South Padre Island, cum laude, attending Texas Southmost College. John Paul Gutierrez from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Ernesto Ulises Guzman from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Jimena Leticia Guzman from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas in San Antonio. Carolyn Fernandez from Harlingen, magna cum laude, attending Texas State Technical College. Gracia Hernandez from San Benito, summa cum laude, attending St. Mary's University. Josue Damian Hernandez from San Benito, summa cum laude, 
attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Mauricio Hernandez from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Omar Hernandez Jr. from Olmito, magna cum laude, attending Texas Southmost College. Sabrina Storm Herrera from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending Texas A&M University in San Antonio. Devin Lee Jaramillo from Harlingen, attending Texas State Technical College. Leoni Jaramillo from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Laisha Leonada Hasso from FAR, attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Stephen Andrew Cloak from Port Isabel, summa cum laude, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Robert Westy Crestorn from Rancho Viejo, cum laude, attending University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Juan Alberto Lara from San Benito, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Hector Andrew Leal from San Benito, cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Edith Ethan Leos from Bronzeville, cum laude, attending Shriner University. Emiliano Luis Lopez from Bronzeville, attending Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Soli Lopez from San Benito, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Esteban Lozano Pochner from Bronzeville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Jaime Josue Lozoya from Bronzeville, attending Texas Southmost College. Ileana Marlene Luna from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Joyce Angeles McCalling from Harlingen, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, San Antonio. Savannah Mendez from Rancho Viejo, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Jire Marines Ramirez from Bronzeo, cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Valeria Maylin Medina from Bronzeo, cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Hania Maria Mendez from Bronzeo, summa cum laude, attending New York University. Alejandro Mendoza Jr. from Harlingen, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Isedi Mercado from Brownsville, cum laude, attending Texas A&M University, San Antonio. Kayla Lee Morales from Mercedes, attending University of Mary Harden Baylor. Marvin Morales from Brownsville, attending Texas Southmost College. Mayeli Marie Morales from San Benito, cum laude, attending University of Texas, San Antonio. Diego Fermin Nava Lopez from San Benito, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Andrea Dominique Wen from Brownsville, attending Texas Southmost College. Travis Wen from Laguna Vista, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Jonathan Jared Nieto from FAR, cum laude, attending South Texas College. 
Israel Nunez from Lyford, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Emma Michelle O'Brien from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Elena Araceli Olivares from Brownsville, attending Texas State Technical College. Daniela Olvera Port Isabel, attending Texas State Technical College. Kelly Abigail Olvera from San Benito, attending Texas State Technical College. Angel, Angela Michelle Ortega Melendez from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending Texas A&M International University. Anissa Ileana Ortegón from Harlingen, summa cum laude, attending Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Shashank Pashnumardi from Harlingen, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Jennifer Peña from Brownsville, attending Texas Almost College. Paloma Areli Peña from Brownsville, cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Dulce Daniela Peralta from Brownsville, cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Gabriela Rene Perez from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Samantha Michelle Perez Albino, Port Isabel, magna cum laude, attending Texas State Technical College. Skyler Acel Perez from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas at Austin. Stephanie Perez Mesa from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Ar Arwen Roslani Perez Baez from Harlingen, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Daniela Perez Salazar from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Griffin Matthew Prisley from San Benito, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Laisha Alejandra Ramirez from San Benito, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Marisa Isabel Ramirez from San Benito, magna cum laude, attending St. Edwards University. Noah Anthony Ramirez from San Benito, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Emily Ramos from Brownsville, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Carmen Natalie Resendez from San Benito, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Benito Reta from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Ruby Elizabeth Rivera from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Houston. Alexander Donald Roa from Harlingen, summa cum laude, attending Baylor University. Dana Paola Rodriguez from Brownsville, cum laude, attending University of Incarnate Word. Ingrid Rodriguez from Brownsville, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Sergio Armani Rodriguez from San Juan, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Egla Sherlin Rodriguez Puente from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Mateo Rojas, Mateo Pablo Rojas from San Benito, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Ruby Ruelas from San Benito, attending University of Incarnate Word. 
David Ruiz Garcia from Los Fresnos, summa cum laude attending University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Ana Michelle Ruiz Ramos from Bronzeville, magna cum laude attending University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Catherine Salazar from Bronzeville, attending Texas Almost College. Mauricio Sanchez from San Benito, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Luz Merari Sandoval from Bronzeville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, San Antonio. Ismael Sam Sarkio from Harlingen, magna cum laude, attending St. Mary's University. Kimberly Ayesca Sarmiento from San Benito, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Julia Catherine Segura from Brownsville, attending Texas State Technical College. Brianna Silva from San Benito, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Jocelyn Silva from Los Fresnos, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Mona Lisa Solis from San Benito, attending University of Incarnate Word. Karina Damari Sosa from Los Fresnos, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Marco Antonio Sotelo Mireles from Lyford, Summa cum laude, attending Texas A&M Kingsville. Chase Staten from Brownsville, cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Davne Suarez from Brownsville, attending South Texas College. Emery Charles Swider from Los Fresnos, magna cum laude, attending ATP Flight School. Aristeo Torres IV from Los Fresnos, attending Texas Atmos College. <clears throat> Nicolás Torres from Mission, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Sebastián Torres from Mission, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Kevin Emilio Torres Vega from Brownsville, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Ileana Treviño from San Benito, attending Texas State Technical College. Faith Lauren Urbano from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending Texas State Technical College. Vivian Uribe Rizzo from Los Fresnos, Summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Asanet Valdez from Brownsville, cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Monique Valdez from Brownsville, cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Samantha Vasquez from Brownsville, magna cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Vanessa Estela Villalobos from Brownsville, cum laude, attending University of Incarnate Word. James Williams Jr. from Brownsville, cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Kaylee Tamis Cepeda from Brownsville, summa cum laude, attending University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Graduates, will you please stand at, and at this time, you may move your tassels from the, from the right to the left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor to present the graduates of the class of 2022 of South Texas ISD Medical Professions. 
On behalf of South Texas ISD medical professions, faculty, and staff, we, rec we congratulate you on earning your distinguished diplomas. Graduates, over the past four years, you have been presented with many challenges which you have been able to overcome. As you continue on your journey to change the world, remember that your parents and your school are here for you. With all you have learned and with all you have experienced, here at Medical Professions, your future looks very bright. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, thank you for attending and congratulations class of 2022.